before continuing on, I want to give a special thank you to Vaunt Headlamps for sponsoring this video here. If you follow the Amazon link in the description below and then use the promo code 10 evanlife at checkout, you can get a 10% discount on these headlamps and anything else in the Vaunt store. I'm going to talk a little bit more about these guys, though, later in this video. I think this marks the beginning of our second week out here at this point, pretty much in the exact same spot. We, uh, we, we turned the van around to be better angled at the sun, but other than that, not too much else has changed. It's been pretty nice though, you know? The weather's been pretty much perfect, temperature-wise at least. Very comfortable to sleep at night. We are picking up a few, like, neighbors now. It's starting to get more populated out here. I don't know if that's because it's the weekend or because people are actually coming out here to try to get out of their houses or just to try to escape. I know a lot of the campgrounds are closing and stuff like that, so people who are full-time on the road like us, like, they don't really have too many other places to go aside from boondocking out here in the middle of the desert. I've just been using this time to take long walks, talk to friends, catch up on all those personal things that I have let slip having a full-time job. It's been good for me too. As we said in the last video, Shannon did get laid off from her job. I don't know if those of you who didn't see that one, you wouldn't know what she's talking about, but that's kind of been a consequence of this whole coronavirus thing. And Fortunately, it is the reality of the situation here. You know, the biggest issues I see moving forward, like we could totally just stay out here for, for a while and I think we would survive. We have plenty of food and there's actually a grocery store about 15 minutes away in town and they are actually limiting the amount of things that customers can buy. So you can only get like one roll of paper towels at a time. You can only get one loaf of bread, you know, none of this like hoarding, you know, 50 loaves of bread and 96 rolls of toilet paper and all that stuff. So that's actually pretty good. I think that over the past few days, we haven't been into town in almost a week, like I said but they're probably stocked up at this point now and hopefully we'll be able to get a few supplies on our way back into town in the next couple of days so we'll see what happens here shannon is thinking about possibly flying back to san francisco which is something that is a little scary i think but she just wants to get her van and then get the heck out of there right now my van is locked inside the gate at my ex work <laughs> so i think i should go get it before too long uh, and just get it out of there and it'd be nice to have two vans. We could caravan around. We'd have a heck of a lot more storage to store stuff, food, and stock up on supplies. And We'd be able to leave it here and take Nate's van and go on, like on a hike if we wanted to. Not lose our spot, which has definitely been a concern, like I said, because we have so many neighbors now. It seems like they're only growing by the day. Like more and more people are coming out here. So I feel like the second we leave this spot, someone's gonna fill it in. It's a great spot. I mean, it's right on the edge of this canyon. It's absolutely beautiful. one of the bigger obstacles here is uh, the fact that all the gyms are now closed every planet fitness every other kind of gym so it's a little bit harder to get showers than it always has been in the past and i think what we're going to try to do is go to some truck stops i know that there are definitely truck stops that are still open so definitely not the cheapest option but you can only go so long without showering <music> today and probably dinner maybe lunch tomorrow as well is this uh, box of Zatarain's jambalaya here it was the uh, the last one on the shelf and it was literally the only dried rice that was not already cooked actually even the already cooked stuff too it was the only rice we could find out of the five grocery stores that we went to so it's the first time we've had rice in over a week at this point and I miss it Rice is like a staple at Shannon's diet. She absolutely loves it. So looking forward to it. We got some sausage mixed in there along with some peppers and onions. Should be pretty good. It's going to make a lot of food. I think we've been doing pretty well with like rationing paper towels and food and everything like that. We still have probably about a week's worth of food out here. And this roll of paper towels here was like half a roll when we first came out here. And we still have a little bit left. Then we have a whole nother one as well. It's a little bit tough. You know, we don't have a sink obviously out here. So you know, we do have to use paper towels a little bit more frequently, but I think we've been making them stretch for quite some time.
What are you doing? Science. <laughs> Never making pancakes any other way ever again. This is amazing. Except we might not use the buckwheat again next time. That was just the last one on the shelf. We didn't really have too many options. It was not our first choice. There was not even sugar in the mix. I had to add some. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Vaunt Headlamps here. They sent me these headlamps a little while ago, guys, and at first, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really know what to expect from them. They're pretty affordable on Amazon. I think it's like 15 bucks for a two-pack, and if you use the promo code from this video, they'll be even cheaper than that, so I didn't really know what to expect, but they had some really great reviews, so I figured I would give them a try, and I have absolutely loved this thing so far here, guys. My favorite feature is that it has this red light feature here, so some of you guys may know I love to do like astrophotography and take pictures of the night sky. Having that thing has been like night and day compared to what I was using beforehand. So being able to have the red light like that allows me to be able to take long exposures with my camera and, and not like completely mess up my photos and still be able to see what I'm doing. So that's been really awesome. And they seem pretty reliable, pretty well built. And I also love that they have this really tiny form factor here. I mean, look how small this thing is. My old headlamp is like four times the size of this. I'm not even exaggerating. And like, I couldn't really find a home for it. It was always like kind of taking up too much space. In a small van like this, you know, that, that difference actually makes kind of a difference. And this thing is a lot smaller form factor. It's been working out really well, guys. Definitely would recommend checking out these headlamps. They also make a whole bunch of other electronics as well. And the promo code 10 evanlife if you use that at checkout, it's going to apply to all of those electronics, anything in the Vaunt store on Amazon. Thank you again, Vaunt, for sponsoring this video. I think this is our cue to get out of here. This is literally all the water that we have left at this point. So we're going to head to town. It's only about a 15 minute drive or so. They've got these water refilling stations. So we're going to try that and just fill up all the bottles that we have and then go from there. Maybe do laundry, maybe find some paper towels and like maybe find a shower. <laughs> maybe a shower too. That hasn't happened in a while. Shannon ended up booking a flight for tomorrow, but then we found out like a couple hours ago that it is canceled. I guess the airlines are not able to fill up all the seats. So she rebooked for the 5 a.m. flight out of Las Vegas to San Francisco. So we're going to head into Vegas probably tonight stealth camp right next to the airport and then she'll be on her way hopefully she'll be able to get her van and then be back out here with us in a couple days unless that flight gets canceled too in which case i'm not going anywhere <laughs> first ever truck stop shower experience and I have to say you know it was, it was pretty nice like definitely nicer than any Planet Fitness showers I've ever been to granted it's $12 so it's like not the cheapest thing but every once in a while especially right now with all the gyms closed I'd say it was definitely well worth it and we're probably just gonna stealth camp somewhere nearby we might go drive through the strip area I really want to see it because you, when you're looking at it from afar it's like completely dark a lot of like the hotels and stuff all the lights are off like a weird sight definitely something that is not normal Normal. So we might drive through there then find somewhere to stealth camp for the night. Drop Shannon off at the airport. First thing this morning, 4.30 a.m. It was definitely an early morning for me here, but she got on the plane, she made it back to San Francisco safely, and she was able to pick up her van. You know, we, we just kind of figured that doing this sooner rather than later made a lot of sense. You know, we don't know how this thing is gonna play out, this whole virus outbreak, this pandemic here. It only seems to be getting worse at this point, and I think it's probably gonna get a little worse before it gets better. That's just kind of how this thing works. So you guys gotta keep in mind that this video here, I'm shooting this, you're not gonna see this 
this for at least another week and a half or so. So things are going to change a lot even from when I'm recording this clip right now. Who knows? Hopefully, fingers crossed, things start to get better. But the bottom line is, like, her van was sitting at her former place of work and it needed to get out of there. It needed to get moved. And she wants to be able to have her van. That's her home. Just like my van is my home, that's her home as well. And it just makes a lot more sense to have both of these vans with us while we're out boondocking in the middle of nowhere than it is to be kind of cooped up in my little van. So, you know, it is definitely risky going out there. But she, I kid you guys not, she is on her way back to Las Vegas right now. She flew right in, filled up her water tanks, picked up a few things from her mom's house, and the next thing you know, she is on her way back here. I think she'll probably be back at some point tomorrow. So should work out okay, guys. And like I said, it just it seemed like it was the right call just to get it done, get the van so that we could then be out here and be on the road, staying away from people and doing our thing. I think I'm gonna head back to our campsite though. You know, I don't know. I know we mentioned earlier that it's getting busier and busier out there, so I might end up going up there and not being able to find a private place to be able to camp so we'll see what happens with that but you know I, I think it is worth checking it out and maybe trying to spend a few more days in that area have Shannon come meet me there and then from there we'll figure out where our next plan of action is that spot is particularly beautiful but it's also great because it does have full cell signals so I can upload next week's video which is the video that I'm shooting right now I'll be able to upload that from there and get it edited and be able to get any work done that I need to do from that spot we're still out here at this point at the exact same spot that we've been at for like the past two weeks for the most part here and you know, it's like we're not really in a hurry to move on. This is like a safe spot to be. It's a good place to like self-isolate, to quarantine, to stay away, especially considering that Shannon did fly recently. So we don't want to be going into stores and doing all kind of stuff, seeing any people. We have not seen people in like three or four days. And uh, we're going to hang out here for probably another day or two and then kind of make our way probably towards Arizona, try to find another spot like this with good cell signal and then just hang out there for a couple weeks. And then we're just going to keep doing that over however long it takes for this whole virus thing to kind of calm down and for things to get back to normal. Hopefully that's sooner rather than later, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to y'all in the next video.